If you flash MIUI 12.5 on your Xiaomi device, you have the possibility of disabling all GMS services, including Google Play Store, Google App Support, Gmail, everything related to Google. Google. Now this was brought to my attention after talking with people on my Twitter and on my Discord server. And then finally someone mentioned this on a comment on one of my videos yesterday. I read all my comments and try to get back to them on all my videos as well as on my community page. But someone said, oh, I have a Xiaomi 10, uh, I have a Xiaomi Redmi 10X device. It's a MediaTek device only released in China. And her comment was, I just flashed MIUI 12.5 on my device after watching your video and now none of my Google services work and instantly I felt really, really bad because I should have, I should be doing some kind of disclaimers in these videos because not everyone that watches my channel is a tech degenerate that spends hours on Discord communities, are hours arguing on Telegram or complaining about stuff in the Xiaomi subreddit, all of which I like to do by the way but there's a lot of just average normal people that watch my YouTube videos. And a lot of people after seeing my reviews of custom MIUI 12.5 ROMs like Xiaomi EU, which is what I'm running on my Redmi Note 10 Pro right now, link to that video up here. Um, tons of people that might have a China device are, are flashing these updates. And so essentially because of the uh, fighting or conflict that Xiaomi had with the US uh, last year, the Chinese government essentially banned Google mobile services on all of the domestic devices for China. Meaning if you're in China and you buy a cell phone in China, even if you leave China, that device will still not be able to use Google mobile services and it's going to be essentially bricked from them. Now, Xiaomi is the number one company that this affects because they launched so many different models in China that the rest of the world might not get. And I went on a date with a girl last year that was using a Redmi K30 and she had no idea that she was running a custom ROM and that's like a crazy story because she's probably not getting updates and I'll have a link to that video up here for you guys. But there's a lot of third party resellers that will buy Chinese specific devices, put their own homebrew custom ROM on it or try to take some of the Chinese stuff out of the ROM and then load another generic ROM on and the user, the end user, the person that's buying it from them doesn't know that. And so if they are to flash an update or if they are to go back to the store to update the device, there's no saying what type of update is gonna be on that device. And for a lot of people that import devices or buy devices from retailers, in like their respective countries, you don't know whether or not it's a Chinese device or a global device with a global ROM, especially if it's a situation like Vietnam, where there's tons of retailers that aren't always necessarily the most honest. So if you are buying a device or if you already have a device and you know whether or not it's a Chinese device or a global device, right? Make sure if you're updating to MIUI 12.5 that you know that your device is not a China specific device. Otherwise you would be forced to unlock your bootloader, which will take you two weeks to do. And I have tutorials about how to do that up here, but you'll be forced to then use a custom ROM because from here on out, there's going to be no more using China specific devices outside of China, unless you want to live without the Google mobile services, which is something that I and most of you do not want to do. So I needed to put this video out. I needed to make this as clear as possible. And if you guys like videos like this, you guys like videos about tech, moderately priced tech, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that little bell with notifications so you're updated when I post new videos as well as new content on my community feed where I get a lot of these ideas to make videos and interact with you guys.